God bless. Welcome back to Twist and Shout. And are you tired of mixing? Because I'm not. And I hope you aren't either because I have an idea, right? I've been doing more research. I've been watching more videos. And if you see my video on my products that I had, um, you did see this, the African Black Soap. Now, obviously I say, you know what, it was too clarifying. Like it just stripped my scalp. Which some may argue and say, okay, a clean scalp is a happy scalp. Um, clean is better. But I say, you know what, I think I can tweak this. So long story short, I've been, um, or actually everyone in my home has been using it as just a face and body soap. But I think I know what to do to make this African black soap a little more, you know, hair friendly. And I'm going to do that with you guys. So, gloves. Please get your gloves. Get your gloves. And let's get started, shall we? Now, this is a um, foam, I guess, creating bottle type thingy. Whatever. The liquid's in here and then we press the button foam comes out. Whatever that means or whatever that's called. So I'm going to use this bottle because I think it will be perfect for a shampoo because the goal or the angle is to see the suds and see the foam so you can really feel like okay, this is actually cleansing my hair. So we're going to do that. And to be honest with you guys, this has, um, I did make a little bit of this but this will be like what I make today will be what I will use um, for like a while. And that's good intentions. Cause again, like I said, I don't want to waste this. I don't want her to use this up. So, um, this doesn't have any measurements on it. I'm just going to hold it up and hopefully you guys can see. Or well, maybe I should get a funnel. No, this holds big. Yeah, I think I should be okay. If you're uncomfortable doing it this way, then of course you can just get a funnel. And I'm just going to let you guys see. Okay, I'm gonna start with that much, you know, just to see how this goes. Cause again, this will be my first time making such a volume. All right, so next ingredients obviously is my lovely, lovely aloe vera. And this is from 100% hand cultivated inner gel fillets. This is from Walmart. Um, This is like $3, I think. And FYI, because of this ingredient and because of the next ingredient, this needs to be refrigerated. So do not let it sit out. If you do not know, aloe vera loses some of its power when it's at room temperature, in this form anyway. I think that should be enough. All right, so I'm putting this away. All right, so... This is what it's going to look like before you mix it. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. That's what it looks like. So not quite half and half. And this right here is my own DIY rice water for my rice water rinse. And this is actually from last wash day. Now, obviously, if you have the time, I will say go ahead and make a new batch. But I believe the new way that I've been trying it is... um. It will not get fermented like right away. This will probably last like months. And I'll tell you why. Um, the old way that I used to do was I used to boil it. Or I used to let it sit overnight um, to firm it overnight. But um, there has been proof that doing it a faster way, which is just rinsing the rice water off like you would. And putting it in a container covered with water, however amount you desire, and leaving it for 30 minutes to 45 minutes only at the max an hour. And then using that water from that content and boiling it up and go ahead and put your essential oils and everything in it. And every time I've done that since and smell it, it doesn't smell bad, it has no sense, it hasn't broken me out or anything. It's been lasting longer in my opinion. So in this way still after this mix you have to refrigerate this okay so you can see my amount and add in most of that to it not a lot and we may come back to this ingredients later but I'm, i just need to see where my bottle is before i you know continue all right so next things next you have vitamin e Vitamin E oil infused with lavender. If I can get this open, 
and I got most of these ingredients from TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Target. So look there first. And I probably had to hold this down. That's one. Two. And my son's being a jerk. Excuse him. It's like he knows when I have to do something. <laughs> and again, I have no real measurements for you guys. I'm just, you know, what feels comfortable with me. So whatever you feel, whatever you need. Because this is based on what I know my hair loves and what my hair needs. So you're not going to better really tell from the oil in the mitts just yet. You can see that. Still pretty much looks the same. And next, I will have my avocado oil. And again, the oil preference is yours. Like you don't, whatever you think is moisturizing for your hair. Cause we know the African black soap is going to cleanse and clarify. So what you need to do is create a balance with, and in this case, this will be a balance with a little bit of protein from my rice and moisture from my aloe vera and my oil. So that's the goal. And then I have rose hip and I'm going to do a little bit of this. And this is real. I didn't expect this to be this rich and oily. I don't know. I just rose hip to seem light. but. And as you can see, the oil in the water is not mixing. But we're going to do that. If you can see that. There you go. All right. Excuse me, I had to be a mom for a second. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It looks kind of nasty, I know. And then next, I'm going to go in with my tea tree. And I'm going to attempt to put the benefits of each um, ingredient on the screen. So y'all won't just be like, okay, what is the point of that? And I'm just going to, you know, they say 10 drops. I'm just going to go like that because, yeah. I think I know my estimates by now, I think. And like this mixture is tall enough where that amount won't harm you. Cause the whole thing is the ounce of your mix ratio to the essential oils. Like you want to make sure that it's balanced. This is probably one of the most tackiest videos I ever done, but bear with me. All right, boom. So I got my essential oils now. And I'm going to include lavender. And if you want to, uh, like, an exact measurement, you can do just 10 drops, but, you know. 10 to 12. Won't do no more if I were you. Unless you got a bigger container. Like, if you're probably working with a container like this size, then I say about 15, 14, but. Um, what's next? Gonna get some lemongrass. And the same amount of drops each, like 10 to 12. And this one's having a hard time with this one. I guess this one say I don't get used much, but it's gonna get used today. And all oh, that lemongrass smells so good, y'all. Like that smells amazing. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna keep it simple. So lavender, lemongrass, because I got peppermint in a lot of my butters and stuff. So I'm gonna leave it at that. That's exactly what I do. Leave it just like that. And I'm gonna go in with just a tad bit of castor oil, not a lot. And this is organic. The organic castor oil. And again, it's still, you can see nothing has come together yet. So that's our job to mix it all together. And I have here some rose water. And I'm not gonna use a lot of this because in my opinion, this is, even though this is very beneficial for your scalp, this is drying. So I'm not gonna, that's it, that's it. No more, no less. All right, so I 
think we're good here. We're good here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my top back on. Excuse the lighting, as you can see. Left a little space for shaking. And I'm just gonna shake it up. And of course it's gonna look like such. Kind of like a generic color of shampoo. And it kind of foamed and filled me up there. As you can see, it's already kind of foamy, which is a good thing because when we spray it out or when we, you know, get all little ingredients out, we want it to be that texture where it can easily get into our hair strands and not be a fuss. And we don't want to be, because with my opinion, what I do is when it takes a long time to lather, we don't sit there and wait for it to lather. We just be like, all right, um, let me just add more products, which you're not supposed to do that, but this is what we do, right? But again, it's up to you how much you, you know, how you do it. But this is something I'm going to do because y'all know I've been speaking my piece on how, you know, what products to go to because I'm so scared of how sensitive my hair is and how it just easily breaks and is um, very sensitive. So this is a good way where, and as you can see, it has calmed down. So it's like foam on top, liquid on the bottom. And this is a way where I know what's in my hair and I can dictate what's in there because it gets hard, you know, turning products over and seeing, okay, what's in here? What's that? How does my hair, you know, it gets hard because there is no perfect product out there. Like, it seems like to me that you have to create your own. And that's what I've been doing. Like, I done created my own edge balm for my edges, um, my own hair butter, my own moisturizer butter for my skin. Like, it's just like, this is a way where I can control it. I know what's best for me and my skin and my hair. And this will lead for a lot of heartaches, a lot of headaches, and a lot of damaging from trial and error. So, this is just what I choose to do. So, disclaimer, again, for the 110th time, I'm not a chemist. I'm not a scientist, not a teacher, lawyer not a technician, not a chef. I'm not any of these professions. I'm a stay-at-home mom who decided to do what's best for her and her hair and her house because we got a lot of sensitive skins, a lot of sensitive hairs, and <laughs> I'm just trying to do what's best for everybody and save a coin at the same time. So if you like me and you've been mixing up with me, you should have most of these products anyway. And again, this is the shampoo. The light is bad, I know. But... This one I'm going to start using on my hair for now for my shampoo. Now, I did do a little research on conditioning. That's going to be a little more complex. So, it looks like, again, for my deep conditioner, because I kind of I got a DIY conditioner where I use a store-bought one to kind of make that texture. But my deep conditioner, that's a whole other story. It looks like I'm still going to have to go out and buy one. So, I'm going to do that. But don't want to take up too much of your time. Again, if you need to just a quick rundown of what I used, um have some aloe vera I use liquid African black soap now the most videos that I watched they did use the bar but I would say my prem was like I had this it was easy so I just use this one now it doesn't mean something wrong with the um, bar one because if I had one I would use that but it's like why just not use what I got so I got the liquid one and um use avocado some rice water with essential oils already included actually i didn't think about that because i added more tea tree so i'm pretty sure my scalp's gonna be like fire <laughs> and i use a little bit of organic castor oil and rose hip and these are 100 natural ingredients like obviously vitamin e and lavender so I use y'all, I show y'all everything, and tea tree. And like I said, what was in here was peppermint, tea tree, um, orange, and eucalyptus, 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 whatever, that. That's also good for your scalp and nutrition in your scalp, keeping your scalp nice and clean and, you know, fighting bacteria and all that yada yada stuff. So, boom, there you go. All right, so, I'm going to try this. Um, I already kind of pre-tried it before y'all, so sorry, but... I did do a little something different in here because I didn't have avocado oil first. I didn't put castor oil in the first batch. So, I'm happy and I'm excited. Happy hair, happy life, happy wife.